everybody hope you guys are doing well today we are going to be in the kitchen today is saturday a very chilled relaxed day today and i'm feeling very much in the spring mode you guys already know that i have decorated my coffee bar for easter and now i'm thinking baking and of course that comes hand in hand with me you know because if you guys have been watching me for some time you guys know that there's not a single holiday that I don't use as an excuse to get in my kitchen and do some baking. So today we're going to be making some lunch. I'm going to be making some bellinis and those are super, super easy. But I thought that for whatever it's worth, I would just share it with you because um, when my kids were small, I used to make them for them all the time. And Ronnie and I, on occasion, we will eat these. And basically it's just a hot dog wrapped in a crescent roll with some cheese you can mix it up. You can put ham and cheese. You can do these however you desire to do them. But I'm just doing uh, ballpark franks and some regular Kraft American sliced cheese inside of the crescent roll. You bake it until the crescent roll is completely done and they are delicious. You can serve with a dipping sauce, but I honestly just love them the way they are. I'm also going to be baking up my Easter crossbread today. I did a video many moons ago on how to make this uh, Easter bread. And I have to tell you that it is a, it is a little time consuming. It does take a lot of ingredients to make this bread. But today I'm going to half it. And I'm going to take you guys along on my journey on making this bread. And I just thought you might like to enjoy just a little bit of a different, just a laid back, chilled day of me making bread. And yeah, so come along with me on my Saturday. I have decided to do some Easter baking today and I'm just so excited about spring. We've had some beautiful weather and I don't know, but it just gets me in the mood to make some new recipes. I have not made this recipe in a long time. This is a recipe that I'm making for my Easter cross bread. Um, I'm halving the recipe, the original. If you have not caught that video, I will, of the full recipe, I will link it down below for you guys. But today I'm just gonna make a half, which probably I'm gonna to try to get at least two uh, cross breads out of this recipe. So um, I wanna tell you that this recipe utilizes a lot of ingredients. Um, one thing that I don't have is raisins, so I'm just going to make it pretty plain Jane. I thought about putting some nuts in it, but actually I'm just going to keep it um, just like a sweet bread, and I think it'll be delicious. Right now, you're looking into my saucepan, and I have two cups of whole milk in here. Um, basically, what you want to do is kind of bring that up to a boil, and then turn off your heat and let it cool. It's got to be the temperature of a baby bottle is the way I would describe it. It has to be under 115 degrees before you add your package of yeast to it. Or it'll kill the yeast and it won't work. And so then you'll have flat bread and not risen bread. And this bread actually has to rise twice before you can bake it. So um, I have all my other ingredients all laid out over here, but before um, we get started, I've got to let this milk cool down um, so that I can add my yeast to it. Okay, so while my milk is um, cooling down, I'm cutting in half some ballpark um, bun size hot dogs. And I've got some crescent rolls with some cheese. You guys are going to have to forgive the shadow. I tell you, it keeps looking like rain, but I don't ever see it. It was supposed to storm yesterday. Never happened. So I'm going to roll my hot dog and my cheese up inside my crescent, just like that. And I'm going to do that for the rest of them and bake these according to the package directions that's on the crescent rolls. And these are going to, we're just going to have some chips with these. It's going to be an easy, easy lunch. Ronnie loves these things. I do too. My mother used to make these with the little mini biscuits before crescents ever came out. Some people call these bellinis if you want to call them something fancier. <laughs> but this is one of our favorite quick lunches is a hot dog. 
and then I'm just going to finish the rest of these. And I might get another package out and do those two because I have two packages. Um, I've got my scalded milk. It is warm to the touch. It's just warm though. And to it, I'm going to add in a fourth a cup of sugar because uh, yeast um, basically feeds off of sugar and it will love that sugar in there and that milk. But milk has natural sugars, I believe. And, but anyways, I'm just going to add that. And I'm going to add one package of my dry yeast right on top of this here milk. I'm just going to remove my spatula. Just to make sure I get all that in there. Yep, I can already smell it. And we're going to set this aside so that um, it has time to work. And it already is. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it already is. I can already smell it. It smells really good. All right, now we're going to get my mixer down and get everything else mixed up. Okay, you're looking down into my mixing bowl. And I have got five cups of flour. Now, I think originally I used bread flour, but I think you can use all-purpose as well. And that's what I have on hand, so that's what we're going with. We're also going to add in a half a teaspoon of salt. Whoop. Just put some salt in there. We're also going to add in two beaten eggs. Now your eggs need to be at room temperature. You can see here, I'm just beating two eggs. I just cracked them off in the, uh, the little measuring cup that I had the milk in. And I'm just going to make like a little bit of a well in here. I'm going to add that in the middle. There we go. And you know you're going to have a nice rich bread when you're adding eggs to it. Then we're going to add in one stick of butter. This is unsalted real butter. I melted a little bit in the microwave. Then we're going to add in our yeast that is looking good, our yeast mixture. I'm going to add that to our flour. And I'm going to get a dough hook and we're going to bring this all together. Now, if this for some reason is too loose, I'll just add a little bit more flour until I get the consistency that I want because I don't usually half this recipe, but I'm halving it today. And remember, I'm also not adding in the raisins to this because I don't have any, but that's okay. Because usually, I'm going to tell you what I use my crossbread for. It's really good when it comes out and just put some butter on it when it's fresh, but the next day it is really good to make French toast with. It is glorious. So we're gonna just let this come together. And when I come back, we're gonna put it in a bowl and cover it. Now I'm showing you guys how all of it pulled together into a ball and it pulled away from the bowl. That's what you want. I have got, you can see it just a little bit in my in my screenshot here, but I've got the big bowl that I measured the flour out in and I just greased it a little bit with some olive oil. I'm gonna take this out of here and put it in here, put it in a dark warm place and allow it to uh, rise. Let's see what we got here. 
see how it's all come together it's very pretty I'm gonna push that off there Timer went off for my bellinis in the oven, but they're not quite done yet. So, I'm going to take this hook off. I never let any of it go to waste. I always peel it off the, the dough hook. Every bit of it is deliciousness. Now, I'm going to take this off here. You see that dough in there? How pretty it is. And then I'm going to move this over. And I've got my big red bowl here. And I'm just going to pull this dough out of here. And it's going to be slightly tacky. And that's what you want. You don't want a dry dough. You want a nice, nice moist dough. getting every bit of it out of the mixing bowl. Now I'm going to just smash this down like that. And I am going to cover this with uh, plastic wrap cover it with a dark towel or an, I mean a towel and I'm gonna let it rise in a dark place and make sure it's a nice warm place and that shouldn't be too hard to find if you don't have a place that's real warm you can turn the oven light on and put this bowl inside your oven um, don't turn the oven on just the light just the oven light it'll be just enough heat to get this to raise real big there are my hot dogs out of the oven and we are going to eat some lunch while my bread dough is rising. Okay, are you guys ready for the big dough reveal? I'll show you guys how much this plumped up. There it is. That's a lot, isn't it? Okay, so now what you're going to do is you are going to open this and you are going to squish this down for a second time. You're going to let the air out of it just like this all right then you're going to recover it and let it rise a second time and i'm going to cover it up put it to bed let it rise a second time and then we should be ready to make the bread all right this is my second rise you can see it's done really really well and I'm going to take it out of here and I am going to portion this in half. And then I've already got my little pans all sprayed and ready to make my bread in those. So I'm going to take you guys over here and I'm going to split this and make up the bread loaves. Now you can see I split it in two and I'm going to take one of my pans and I'm going to take the dough out of here and I'm going to knead it inward till it's nice and smooth on the outside and the bottom part I'm going to pull just enough to make a cross and so I'm going to do this I'm going to put my loaf right in the middle of the pan just like this now, just to make sure that I have them pretty even, I'm going to separate and I'll see what this one looks like when I get it out. Same thing with this one. Just make it nice and smooth. Yeah, they feel about the same size. And I'm going to pull just enough off the bottom for the cross. 
to make the cross bread. And I'm going to put my loaf like this. And I'm going to take my little bit of dough that I pulled off. And I'm going to break it in half. And I'm going to make a snake with each one. Just like this. And I'm going to wrap it onto the bread. Like that. And I'm going to do the second one the same way I'm going to make a snake like twist and I'm going to put it on the bread just like this and that makes the cross on the top now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these with some with a towel while my um, oven is preheating and these should, oh, my cross broke, look at that. Should be all right now. There we go. Now we're gonna do the second cross. Same difference, you're gonna take the dough apart, roll it in your hands and twist. Just like that. Tuck it under the bread. Do the same with this one. Whoop, my bread broke. It's all right. It'll just pinch right back together. I always pinch in the middle just to make sure it all comes together. I'm going to cover these two loaves of bread. I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven to 350. And these should rise a little bit and then we'll bake them and they will be beautiful loaves of bread for our Easter cross bread. Okay, my bread came out of the oven. I'm super, super happy with it. It is very, very hot. Um, sorry about the shadow, it is evening time, but oh my goodness, this smells amazing. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like underneath. You see how nice and brown? And you also hear, like it's hollow, see? And you know it's done. Very, very good. I cannot wait to have a big piece with some butter on it. I know it's going to be good. You know how fresh bread is. Oh, the smells. I mean, I wish I could send the smell of this to your house because it is pretty epic right now in here. It smells amazing. And I'm very happy. You can see some of my crosses pulled a little bit. Part of my cross pulled just a little bit, but that's okay. It's the general idea of it is all that it, all it means. And it's still going to be so, so good. All right, guys, my bread is made. Can you see this? It's got a perfect crumb to it. I've got lots of butter on it. Mmm. Comes out excellent. <laughs> Comes out amazing every single time. I highly recommend that you try to make this Easter cross bread. Even if you don't put the cross on the top, the bread is divine. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I'm going to enjoy my bread and my cup of coffee and a little bit of Walton's. 
So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe. And I'll be talking to you all again soon. Good night, everybody.